guys! Today, I'm sharing our history curriculum picks for the school year. I've been loving everything you are. Your eyes alone are the brightest stars. I could stand you all night. This past homeschool year, we did Story of the World, Volume 1. And as you can see, we have not finished it. We have about halfway. Chapter 22 out of... Out of how many? Uh, let's see. 42. So, yeah, halfway. Um, which, tried not to do. I really tried to get through this whole book this year. And it just was not happening. We took a big break from history throughout the year and tried to do Ambleside online for a while and stopped Story of the World and started doing that and then we just did not pick up Story of the World and did we did stop doing Ambleside for a while so we just did like zero history for like two, two or three months during the school year and during the summer we barely did it either Ugh, we barely did it at all that's what I meant to say anyway let me get my thoughts back together so we're going to finish this up and we're going to do this. We're going to finish this up beginning of the school year and be done with ancient times. I'm done with ancient times. <laughs> so, and we are not going to do Story of the World Volume 2. We are going to move on to Ambleside Online. <laughs> so, I, you know, I like Story of the World and I like that it has the activity book and it gives me a whole bunch of ideas and has the maps in the back, but to save money and to just, I like to just not buy a whole bunch of curriculum because that's my, that's my problem this past year is I bought a whole bunch of stuff and never used it. I am going to do Ambleside because I did buy the um, Child's History of the World on Kindle and it was like $4 and I skimmed through it and I really, I like that. So where this stops, we'll finish this, we will pick up year two of Ambleside online with their history and pretty much a lot of their stuff because I really do like Ambleside. So we will pick up year two which starts on like chapter 47 of Children's History of the World and um, follow Ambleside and I think I should have looked up their year two schedule because I don't think they pick up this country of ours. I don't think they do American History until year three. Even though Miet is year three, but we're going to do year two because I don't want to jump jump in history because I like I like my timeline and going through it chronologically. So that's what we're going to do. And the reading we read and we narrate and we um, illustrate. That's our history. We kind of, even though I do like the maps in Story of the World, we rarely do the maps and we rarely do the activities. Sometimes. For a fun day, I will do an activity if it's pretty easy. Like this week, we're going to make puppets. So Persian puppets. And Miat and her notebook, as I'm reading, which will work with Story of the World and with children, Child's History of the World, um, she'll just draw a picture while I'm reading. And then I will write a passage of what I read on a whiteboard and she'll copy it. And that's her copy work. It's usually history. So that's it. Easy peasy. I mean... I'm not making it difficult at all. I read, she draws, and writes, and Kenzie's going to do it too. Only her copy work, if she has copy work, it's going to be very minimal. She's just learning how to write. So, um, yeah, that's our history. That's it. I feel like we should have more. I also have this I wanted to show because this is what we use. The Usborne Encyclopedia of World History. We love this resource. It is full of pictures, and it goes right along with us and right along chronologically and it's nice to be able to read it and then see it in color and also we go online to their um, internet links that Usborne has. Usborne? I'm saying that right, yeah. Um, and it, you just pick the page that you're on. So right now we are on like um, the Romans. 
So I'll just find the page that correlates with what we're doing and then go online to their website and I can look it up by page and they have, they have like website links that will show a video or show a picture or a coloring page on there that goes with that page, which I love. So that is another awesome resource to have. So that's it. That's all our history. Bye guys.